everybody this is radwheel73 of radfamily100 and today I'm going to do a real quick tutorial on how to download the feed the beast launcher and how to um, install the galactic science mod pack as well as download and install the server for that uh, the first thing you're going to do is go to feed the beast um, I'm doing this on a Windows PC. If you have a, a, a Mac or a Linux system, you would use these. Here is uh, the stable download. All you have to do is click that. It will download the Feed the Beast Launcher executable file. I've already done that. And I put mine into this Feed the Beast FTB launcher um, or feed the beast folder right here under my minecraft stuff double click the launcher let's get it going it takes just a few seconds to for it to load everything up so it'll come up like this now the galactic science mod pack is under third party packs and if you scroll down through here you will not find galactic science it's not going to be one of the um, one of the ones you see in the list now obviously I've already been playing galactic science and it does show up here the way you get galactic science to show up here is you need to get a code and that code whoops move down here a little bit if you just put in galactic science code into your Google under the feed the beast form that code for galactic science is going to show up right here THX2MYM so in your launcher make sure you're under third party packs click pack codes you type that in just like that right here and hit add I can I can do that real quick and it will tell me that it's already in there but when you do this see I'm, I'm getting this error it's already in there so when you do that it will add it in then to launch galactic science you're just gonna hit this launch button right here and it's gonna take you into the game that'll set up a single player game for you um, if you want to start a server this right here download server when you click that this will pop up it will download the galactic science server dot zip so that's you're done on the internet at that point what you're gonna wanna do then is um, just move that compressed file that zip file into here and simply double click it once you double click it it will say where do you want to install it you're gonna install it usually right there where you're at when I unzipped it and installed it here it's the galactic science server right here this creative one is one that, that we made so that we could go in and and practice with things in creative mode and learn how to use some of the different mod packs and that's included in galactic science and then also kinda just tinker with things so obviously we don't want to tinker with things when we're on our normal family server so that's what this creative servers for once you unzip it everything you need is right here inside of this file or under that that folder the server start dash windows batch file right here when you click on it it will install all the mod packs into that server that you need um, that will go along with your your uh, your local um, Minecraft when it launches and has all its mod packs in it from from the Feed the Beast launcher. Um, the world here should contain the maps that you need so that you can play on the on the moon map and everything like we are. So we'll double click this right now one other thing to remember 
is the end user license agreement. Um, just make sure that if you agree to that agreement, you edit it, put the word true at the end, close it and save it. That's just, that's in all the newer um, servers. You have to accept the end user license agreement. I'm going to go ahead and start the server. And it's going to do its thing. And it's, it's installing all the different mod packs now into the server that Galactic Science needs to run. And while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and launch Galactic Science in my Feed the Beast launcher. Now here it's asking, do you want to update? This is a 1.48 server that I'm launching. If I update my local here, chances are it's not going to work with that server. So I'm going to say no. And then here one of these days we'll update to the newer version. But um, I tried that when I was playing with Agrarian Skies and pretty well lost everything. So um, kind of turned me off to updating the... Uh, the mod pack a little bit so and right here all this is doing is taking your normal uh, Minecraft and then installing um, all the mod packs you need it looks like my server is done loading everything it needs now the way you would stop that or turn that server off is once you get out of your local galactic science here out of your minecraft you would just click in that box and just type in stop and that will that will stop the server so we're gonna click multiplayer I have the server running on my computer um, so right here you would type in localhost under the server address if you have it running on your computer if you are trying to, um, like here at our house, when Paleo Twister or Don Ash plays with me, they're playing on their own computers, I need to find out what my IP is, my IP address for my local computer on our network. Once I find that out, I let those two know what my IP address is. They just type that in here, like the 192.168 um, IP address. They type that in here and that will allow their computers to look at my computer for this server. They'll see the same thing I'm seeing here. It'll be a real quick um, time on it, lag time. Um, just click on that and join. I am going to look straight at the ceiling because I want you guys to watch our video for what I've done with our our workroom I'm not gonna show it to you so you'll just have to check out our videos in order to see what I've been doing in here but there's been a lot so to get out of all this you just hit the escape button disconnect you can quit that will turn that off it won't close the launcher um, but it'll get you out of Minecraft Hitting X on that launcher will will close it out, and then type stop into here. And at the bottom, it'll say press any key to continue. That has your um, that shuts your server down the right way, so everything closes down properly. And then you can close it out. This has been Radwheel73, and. If you'd like to see what we've been doing in the in the galactic science world, join us um, for one of our Let's Play videos. Thanks, and see you there.